this is Rick Cassell from shoulderpainsolve.com. Last week I was uh, taking a flight from you know the Surrey area, pretty close to Vancouver, over to Windsor, Ontario, which is right beside Detroit. I was teaching a course and a few days before I left, I flared up my knee. And I will kind of explain what I did that led to my flaring up of my knee in another video. But I wanted to share with you what I did on the plane while I was heading to Windsor in order to help my knee and help in the recovery of my knee in order to get rid of that pain and get back to doing what I enjoy doing. There's a couple of things that I ended up doing. Number one, on the plane, I went and I made sure I ended up getting an aisle seat. And with the aisle seat, it was my right leg that was flared up. So I ended up getting a seat on the left side of the plane so I could stretch out my right leg into the aisle. And with it stretching out straight, I was able to bend it. And that made the, the, the plane ride a lot more comfortable. The second thing I did was I was moving my knee through full range of motion whenever I could. So, so sitting in the aisle seat, I would end up you know, straightening that leg out and then bending the leg back as far as I could and just trying to move that leg a number of times throughout the hour. And I would end up doing about five repetitions trying to work through that whole range of motion when it comes to that knee. The third thing that I ended up doing was I really focused on terminal knee extension, so that end range of extension. So when I was sitting in uh, the aisle, I would do what I could to straighten the leg out, not hyperextend it where it's pushing back, but moving it to straight. I would end up doing that sitting in, sitting with the leg out in the aisle. Also, I would end up standing up and I would straighten that knee out to straight and then relax, straighten the knee out and then relax. And big thing to remember is most of my weight was on the other leg and then I would straighten out that right leg. That's an important thing. And I would end up doing about five repetitions uh, once again. And the last thing, I think we're at the fifth thing, is I tried to move frequently whenever I was on the flight. So I ended up getting up probably every half an hour and walk the plane, you know, go to the washroom, just try to move, the, and I would end up moving that knee, trying to bend that knee, straighten that leg out, move, move my hip, move my knee, move my ankle. And as I did that, I was in pretty, I was in a fair bit of discomfort and pain when I was flying out Friday, but I was able to kind of work on it on Friday, loosen up that knee, and then Saturday work on it a, a lot more, and then Sunday, I ended up going for a real nice run along the river in Windsor. So, and I was able to calm down my knee, and my knee's gotten a lot better. So, you know, this is Rick Casales from shoulderpainsolve.com with some ideas on what you can do for your knee if you're taking a long flight, flight in order to you know, keep your knee healthy, in order to help your knee rehabilitate and recover so you can get back to what you're doing. So I encourage you to swing by shoulderpainsolve.com. There's a variety of tools and information when it comes to what you can do for your shoulder injury. So this is Rick Cassell saying take care and bye-bye.